Okay, wait for it. I've lost my mojo! Oh, 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 oh. That reminds me of another scene out of Austin Powers, the overly complicated and excruciatingly slow uh, execution scene. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Hope you are having a fantastic uh, Thursday morning already. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Stoked to be here with you this morning and super excited talk about how to get your mojo back before we get to that though just a quick reminder if you're listening on your favorite podcast catcher watching on youtube listening on soundcloud anywhere other than facebook live you are missing out on one of the great pieces of our little daily get together the comments you gotta join the comments head to seven minutes in the morning.com get you to the right place and you can join joe and aisha and tara and vicky and everybody else who is joining in this morning. Just when you get here, do me a favor, say hi, and let me know that you're here. All right, so good morning to all of you that have joined so far. Appreciate that. I um, don't know how I got that little bit of inspiration from, uh, from, <laughs> from Austin Powers about losing your mojo, but it's definitely... Um, Definitely related to the topic we've been on this week. So the, all week, kind of, we've been talking about, you know, what happens when you're um, when you're frustrated, uh, maybe overwhelmed. Sometimes it bears out like uh, uh, burnout. Um, wh- what do you do, right? And so we've been talking about three of the constituent pieces, or three of the things that I believe lead to getting stuck like that and just for a quick review they are clarity control and confidence and here's how it plays out right and i use this example a a lot um or, or this pattern a lot right when you decide to start a business you are super clear on what it is you're going to do we're going to do this and this and this and then we'll be millionaires right super clear you roll out with all the control in the world because it's just you, right? Maybe, you know, maybe a partner, but yeah, we can, you can make all the decisions. You can decide to do this, decide to do that. So you're really clear on what you want. You got all the control and that control gives you all this confidence. You're able to say, yes, I want that piece of software and boom, it shows up on your computer and all of a sudden things are working, right? And then a few months into it, Things don't necessarily work out the way that you thought they would in one way, right? You thought you were going to get this customer. You thought this supplier was going to be able to support you. You thought that um, that there was, you know, a need in the market. But you're not getting the sales. You're not converting the clients. You're not, you know, whatever your target was. And so then it kind of works backwards, right? Your confidence begins to slip. Well, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Maybe we should pivot, right? And so then all this control that you had and the clarity that you started out with, say, yes, this, this, this is exactly what we do, begins to wane, right? Six months, 12 months down the road, you find yourself doing things that not only are not close to what you started out wanting to do, you're not even, I mean, you can do them, but you're not even really good at it. They're definitely not fulfilling, um, not making you the kind of results that you wanted, but you're stuck, right? You, you've lost control because, well, I've got to keep doing this because these people are paying me. And, well, I've got to keep doing this because, well, you know. And so now you've lost clarity, control, and all the confidence. And now you're just stuck. It feels like a job, and it's like, oh, got to go make the donuts again. So what do you do? Well, you work from the beginning, and you go forward, right? And you got to get really clear on what you want to change, right? And it's probably one of the things that 
um, that leads a lot of people to just close their business and go get a job is the, the, the magnitude of the change that has to occur. And, and you forget, and this is kind of the, the, the insidious part, right? You did a great thing. I had a conversation with a business owner yesterday who was really feeling the weight. Uh, they're, they're about six or seven months into the business. And they're just really feeling the weight of and cash flow and employees and customers. And I'm like, look at what you've done already. Right? And, in fact, I... I shared this back here on the whiteboard. I keep all of these stickies on the whiteboard right here so that every time I start feeling down about, oh, I just can't get anything going, look at all this stuff you've already done right here. Right? So we look at the magnitude of the change and like, golly, that's just so big. Well, you've already done big things. You're qualified to do that. You can do this. But we see that big thing and we're like, no, nah, I can't do all that. You know? So, here's how you get your mojo back. Find one little thing that you can get really clear on that you can control and you can execute on. Because confidence comes from experience. Right? And experience comes from execution. Not execution like, you know, boom, you're dead. Execution like actually do it, get it done, move the sticky over into the done box. Right? Execution. Confidence comes from... Uh, experience, experience comes from execution. So get really clear on one little thing. I'm going to call 25 people a day for the next five days. That's a really clear goal, right? Specific, a measurable, specific, measurable, aligned, relevant, time box. 25 people a day for the next five days. Even if you have to stay up, you know, sit out in the car at lunch, whatever you got to do. 25 people is not a lot. Maybe for you it's 10. Maybe for you it's 50. Maybe it's something completely different. But pick something small that you can control and then go execute on that. And then once you get that, you know, at the end of that, you get a little uh, dopamine boost in your brain like, hey, that wasn't so bad. I can do that. And then you do it again tomorrow and you do it again tomorrow. And before you know it, you called 250 people. Out of 250 people, you get five new clients. That's how it works, folks. I mean, it's not, you don't have to move the world to move the needle. Right? Just small things that you can control and then start stacking those on top of each other. You get those five clients and they are and they start paying you. Now you can get rid of some of this ancillary stuff that's not, you know, kind of in your channel that you want to be in. All right, so that's it. That's how you get your mojo back. Start small, build on top of that, all right? So this week we have talked about how to gain clarity, how to retake control, how to uh, build your confidence, put all three of those things together and get your mojo back. If you have any questions on that, tomorrow is Free Coaching Friday. Leave me a question in the comments. Send me a message via Facebook or an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. And we will tackle those questions on tomorrow's installment. All right, that's it for today. You guys, wait a minute, wait, 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 hold everything. Yes, you don't, uh, you don't have to move the world. Uh, you don't have to move the world to move the needle. I think that's what I said. I'll go back and listen to it when I'm done. And, Joe, I'm not sure why would there be coffee tonight. Have I forgotten something? See, I love it when you guys help me remember stuff like this. This is awesome. The only downside is the lag, so I have to sit here and wait for a minute in order to give you time to comment back. But that's okay, because if I can do anything, I can vamp for a few seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, thanks for reminding me, though. The uh, the events are actually in the morning. Well, I hope I don't have them set for 7 p.m. I did that uh, the last batch. They're all for breakfast. So um, Joe brings up a good point, a good reminder. My good friend Stephen Levy and I are putting on a series of events called Coffee and Coaching. 
You should go check those out, coughingandcoaching.us. I'll talk more about those next week uh, as those are getting closer. But the one coming up next Thursday is for customers and money. If you want to find out how to find more customers and make more money, that's the first one. That's the one you should join. Coffeeandcoaching.us. Coffeeandcoaching.us. I don't think I have no coffeeandcoaching.us gets you to the right place. You can find out more about that or send me a message as well. All right. Now that's really it. Going to wrap it up. You guys have a great Thursday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.